welcome back y'all the other day I made the video about the wonderful ink cartridge chip resetter tool and I figured since the stupid things don't work I'm going to tear it to pieces and see what's in here so come join me <laughs> first of all screws in there. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's a screw under here. Let's see. Oh. Oh. I'm surprised for $20 from China there's even a screw. It means there's probably one on the other side. Yeah, there we go. These screws probably what costs most. Seven screws. They might be worth something one day. I'm surprised it ain't glued together. basically permanent resonance of the circuit board and there's a little chip you see that zoom in Let's see if it zooms in enough where you can see probably not that there's the chip stuff which is more than I thought was going to happen and there's some surface mount resistors resistors there's a capacitor too there's some capacitors oh look at this it's even printed on there it says well uh, It even said PN Resetter 200 something or another. Okay. There's, like I said, there's some surface mount resistors and capacitors. And there's an actual chip on there. Well, I'll be back in a minute. I'm over. Go online and see what this chip's all about. I'll be with y'all in here just a minute. Well, I'm back. I did some research. That serial number, all I could see is it kept coming back and thought I was searching for some old vacuum tubes, pen totes, and all kinds of, I don't know. So it's, uh, I, I did get one inventory stock number from uh, China, well not China, Singapore, well China, but as soon as I clicked on the website and clicked English, it's popped up and said that it had no idea what I was looking for. So, if you look at this, the way that it's made, I mean, there's a circuit there. You can, you can you know, there, you can, you can see the traces. The pins are going to the surface mount stuff, and then the surface mount, I mean, there, it's, it's going to the chip. It's the chip, the chip's doing something. Although, this whole side, the whole side of this chip, and is doing absolutely nothing 
most of these pins are doing absolutely nothing. Let me get my stick my fat fingers out of the way. You can see here, these, these chips are hooked to nothing. Or chips, these pins are hooked to nothing. All but three of these pins are being used. And over here, yeah, so it's whatever this chip does, it's not being utilized to 100% of whatever it's supposed to be doing. I'll flip it over, you can see that under the chip, there's nothing. Absolutely, positively, it's not. Uh, You know, like like these these pins here. You think, oh, well, there's there's a trace on the other side of the board. Well, no, there's not. <laughs> so I don't know what the pin. You know, I'm not a I'm not a modern electronics genius or anything. I'm more old school electronics. These new IC chips. I'm not sure. You know, and I've been out of the business for so long. I can't just look at that and say, oh, well, it's, that's a, that's an EF52AXW and, 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 and uh, that's a such and such chip that doesn't, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys that's seeing this might, might know what's going on, but it is something <laughs> I'm surprised for $20 that I got this much. Actually, maybe if I take these, maybe if I take these batteries out, <laughs> and uh, hey, I got an LED, I can do something with my LED. And these little spring pins, I don't know what I'd do with those. <laughs> and a cool plastic box, maybe I could make it a project box. I could make something, another project out of it. I'm surprised at this box. Apparently the equipment must cost a lot of money to uh, to uh, weld plastic <laughs> with high frequency because most garbage from China, like unlimited gas mileage, BS crap from China, they uh, frequency weld the plastic cases to get. So other than just cutting it. You'd have to cut it. You'd have, you'd have to, and I, I had this just in case. You have to have something like <laughs> with a cutting wheel just to get the stupid box open. This thing, at least they're honest enough to uh, have screws. So I, Lord, I don't know. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Maybe it actually does reset things. I don't, maybe, maybe just that particular Epson XP620 printer maybe maybe it's just that particular type of printer that model printer uh, the ink the chips on the uh, ink cartridges can't be reset I don't know I have no idea like I've said in the other video all that little chip does is there's like there's probably a unique serial number there's there's something a unique number on it that tells the printer itself hey I'm such and such ink cartridge it's probably got the color and then it's probably got a unique serial number and there's probably some rudimentary memory inside the printer that keeps track of X number of the last cartridges are the last chips that it's read so that you can't take and like put a cartridge off to the side and six months later and three cartridges down the road try to reuse it so it probably keeps it in the memory for so so long or probably so much so so many chips that it keeps track of I don't have my four. there we go but uh, whatever's going on I really don't think this works 
I still don't think they'll work. And I'm not going to go buy another one because this one specifically said on eBay that it was designed for my printer. So I don't think there's any. Well, you know, you need model such and such. You got the wrong model. No, I, I, I didn't get the wrong model. This is the one. And uh, it even has on here cartridge. It's it's good for these these cartridges. And the number jives with with the cartridges that I, I'm using. So uh, I'm not gonna I ain't gonna go through all that crap anyway. Oh, and the little guy, I, I keep the guy. Maybe what I ought to do is take a picture of this, and, and uh, well, I don't even have to take a picture of it because there's so much of it going on on eBay. I, I, anybody want to buy a pen resetting tool? <laughs> I'm not giving you my eBay name because if I did, y'all say, oh, whoops, no, I don't want that one. <laughs> anyway, and why I sit here and put it all back together, I don't know. But that's twenty dollars right there. Good old China. You got to give them credit. Them Chinese people. They're resilient, if not anything else. But uh, I would like to know in the comments is if, if anybody see is watching this and actually has bought these and they actually work. Shoot me a little video. I mean, I don't know of any cell phones that don't take video. Shoot me a video showing where it actually works. I'd love to see it. I mean, I know there's some videos on, on here, but I want to see an uncut video of somebody doing this start to finish like I did where it actually works. Because I could edit the video. Like right now, I could take this busted cartridge. No, look, and I'm getting ink on me again. You'd think I'd throw this in the garbage, but no. Uh... Yeah, blue jeans are blue. I could I could take this cartridge and put it back together, put put a little chip back on here, and I go out and buy me a new cartridge. Well, I'd have to glue it back on. Anyway, I glue it back and then look look my pen resetter. Of course, I can do this off the thing. I I did this earlier. All I got to do is line the pins up. And if you watch, I can just I take long as these top four pins are the important ones. Anyway, touch them there and I don't want you to go do it. Oh, well, now it's acting all contrary on me. Oh, there it goes. See? You probably didn't see, did you? It's green. Let me do it again. Well, let me turn this light way down. Let me turn this light off. So you can see the little light show. See, it does all this blanky crap. And it's green. Oh, I did it again, I'll tell you. I'm trying to watch one thing and I'm trying to make sure this is in frame. Oh, see, it does all this blanky crap. It'll blink slow and then it'll blink fast and sometimes it stays red, sometimes it turns green. Oh, there it turned green oh, for a second. It's definitely, I'm thinking there's a, all that chip that is in there is it's a timer. And what it does is it, it, it senses It senses when you put this on here that there's something present. When it does, it goes to blanking that. Let me see if I short these pants out. What will happen? No. So it's not that something. Oh, there. Well, looky there. Just shorten them top pins. Oh, look at this. Well, now looky here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Looky here. I short these 
four pins. Oh, watch what happens. Look at that, it goes all crazy and turns green. Look at that. If it wasn't broke before, I'd say I just broke it, really broke it this time. Get something better than maybe this will short them out a little bit better. It's doing all kinds of blanky stuff. Anyway, I don't know. I'm getting tired of dealing with this stupid thing. As you can see, I can, I don't know which pins it is that I'm short and it's causing the light show. Is it just a couple of pins? Oh, it's these two pins right here. Oh, and looky there. I can replicate it by sharpening these two pins right here. Watch. Look at that. Ha ha ha. Guess what? I just figured it out. Something's going on with these two pins that when they're sorted out, they put on a little light show. Ah, looky there. And I'll bet that IC chip that's inside here, I'll bet, it, I'll bet you anything, it, it's a timer circuit that puts the little light show on. And as soon as these two pins, we get a little, just a little bit of light. These two pins right here. As soon as I short them, the light show begins. Look at that. See that? Oh. See, it's like, oh, something's going on. And that's another thing about this light show is I'd say, uh, I can do it every time. Every single time. I just hit that. I hit these two pins. See, sometimes, and that's that's the magic of the the scan. See that? So many times it'll turn green. So many times it'll turn red. And what they're doing? See, they're turn. Oh, there's green. See, it's doing exactly these two pins right here. And it's doing exactly what I what was going on before. Watch. Oh, it's red that time. Oh, well, wait a minute. Oh, well, oh, maybe this time. Oh, well, let's see. Let me try it again. No. No. Oh, 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 it's blinking like no. Oh, there we go. See, it makes you think that you're that something's going on. What's going on? It's at the light show. It's a freaking light show. <laughs> Bravo, China. Bravo. <laughs> I gotta laugh. That's because I paid twenty dollars for this punchline. <laughs> All it is is those two pins, you short them out, and that IC chip in there is a timer circuit. And it's a light show. <laughs> oh, y'all have a good night. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, the end. <laughs>